Would you see, would you be able to feel the less mass on my body right now? No, dude. Oh, that's good. Can your real man do that for you? <laughs> I just don't think this one's meant to be open. Oh my god. Oh? No. Oh shit. shit. There we go. There it is. Oh, it actually smells really good. It's like menthol. Yeah, I love it. The tattoo's looking <laughs> deep, long strokes. This is so not. Not appropriate. appropriate, yeah. This one's growing on me. Oh, what? It wasn't my favorite at first. You said you like this one better, I like this one better. I still don't like this one right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much darker than the other ones at this given moment that I'm like, fuck, I want, the birds are, I'm seeing the birds more now, which is good. But when it fully is just like there, I'll be happy. So you didn't like this one at first? Why didn't you tell me? You think it's still stupid? I just don't like this part. Okay, well, why didn't you mention that I was getting it fucking tattooed on me for <laughs> Because I didn't think it was my place. Say something. Uh, All right, well. Can you do something about it? Go not right now. We're going to the gym. So we went out to LA, which we kind of were cleaning our apartment before him. We forgot. I forgot about the rice. Alec, we're standing right here. Oh, no. We need a camera. Oh, above us. Ready? The, I opened this yesterday, saw it, and closed it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, fly came out. Fly came out. We will deal with that later. Outside. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna run it through the at least the pot through the dishwasher and I'm gonna have to like So no rice today. That's so where we we're eating out again today. <laughs> I think there was just like a sign of approval. He wanted like the I'm just making sure. Great one drive with me. Yeah. Alright. Oh fuck! What? You don't have your car. <laughs> oh my god, we were supposed to pick it up. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Your, car, your car's down the street getting an oil change. You know we've been dating for over a year and I've never driven the RE. You never driven Rosa. Probably no, like that. Honestly, I was I was too scared for like so many months, but now I think I'm ready. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Dude, there's like fucking ten college fucking brads in there staring at my car. Why? Because it's a fucking loud ass R8. It's like recording. See him? The backward hats. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know it. That was typically me. Now we're just having fun, literally. Yeah. A lot of traveling going on. Have some fun, some traveling, eat some carbs. There you go. Yeah. A couple slices, some french fries. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Back to work. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. See you guys later. So this is the new Iron Revolution. Hello. So that was like a, that was a weird moment because I was like, does Grant get a day pass? Does he not? I don't know. He used to not. Does he get one now? I don't really know. So I was like, a little conversation. Let's get out of here. Jim, so on this side, we have bodybuilder. We have area to jump rope over here. We have another cable tower. This one's extremely smooth. You know how here we used to have a really shitty low row? Yeah. We have a high row now, which is actually really fucking good. Two weeks in, someone already broke the mirror over there. <laughs> we have these new road benches. I'm not a fan. They're too skinny for my wide frame, but we do have a lot more benches and a lot more space. Here, there's the cracked mirror I was mentioning. Oh my God. The trash can. Posing room. There's certain areas where it's like, you know, the spot, but you usually have a lot of the 17-year-old, 16-year-old star boys in here. But I like to stand back here, flex the muscles. This is a nice spot right there. Dude, those are still there. Pretty good. Look at the legs. You see the proportions? That's not bad. Calves look good. Right? Thank you. you see my glute photo yesterday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, show, we'll show the camera if you guys don't follow me on Instagram. It was an arm day. <laughs> that was taken properly right here. So, today, you're hitting legs. Legs actually is a love-hate body part because sometimes it's fun to hit, in other cases it's not. Right now, with the way I mentally am with training, I'm very nonchalant. I go about my workout with feel. I used to be very structured with the program, and that's not the case right now. I'm mentally taking a break from bodybuilding. It's not a bad thing because I fucking worked my ass off for a long time, since March all the way till September, and holy shit, it took a toll on me. I lost my energy to focus on fucking videos, to do other shit, 
and to walk around feeling happy in life. And right now, fuck, <laughs> I'm walking around feeling happy. So we're gonna go in here, hit some health workouts and maintenance fucking phases shit. And we're basically gonna focus on, I actually thought about this yesterday. So instead of like going into this, like, all right, I squat a 405 for eight last week. I'm gonna hit that again. No, I'm gonna take a lighter weight and focus on different movements in the workout. So really focus on, you know, maybe uh, getting my quads activated, going down a certain speed, and then like accelerating. Everyone trains differently, right? Mm -hmm. Some people do little half reps. Some people go full range of motion. Some people go super slow. Some people go super fast, like just fucking bro shit. And everyone's physique looks different. That could be genetics, but also could be from training. So let's say I fucking copied exactly Chris Bumstead's speed and speed and motion, I could maybe grow the same muscles as Chris. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna try to do here today. I'm telling you how I'm gonna train like Chris today. I thought about this, I didn't tell you. I'll repeat it to you. He, so, got, he got that from Chris's Instagram post about how to change up training styles so you change your tempo and duration. Uh, he definitely did post that, but I, I didn't get this, met this thought from that. But thank you. Yes, yeah, so let's get to it. Have a kiss. <laughs> All right, let's work out. All right. Mid workout. <laughs> <laughs> it's choking. You hear that? Yeah. It chokes you. What the I don't world? know what life is anymore. All right, we're gonna start off with leg extensions and these leg curls right here. I'm simply gonna be going for a pump just to get my legs nice and warm, and then we're gonna go into squat. I'm not gonna go too heavy. I will increase the weight here and there, probably max out on like two plates, do 12 reps as like a final set, three sets back and forth, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. For today's leg workout, the, the soon to be I to be pro classic physique leg workout. The reason why I do this is because if it stays on my skin and gets stuck, this it can glide. It's a simple life hack no one knows about. Not bad, right? Appreciate it. Is that a young LA stringer? Is that a young no? Hey Madison. You buy young LA at all? Not really, so you have? No, I haven't. So what why didn't you say no instead of not really? The question was simple. Did you buy young LA at all? No. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna ask who code, whose code you use. No, I don't buy any. Okay, but if you were, whose code would you use? Okay, that's enough. Thank you. I just find it crazy, you know? It's like local support. We don't even have that in today's generation anymore. <laughs> Unbelievable. So as we squat here, my tip for this is going to be, considering this is a free weight, we're using a barbell here, is to make sure every single cue you have for squats is on point. Has to be approaching the bar, making sure you're nice and tight, good brace core, your setup's good, you're not, you're not fucked up on your setup, you have a nice stable base, you are externally rotating your knees outwards, your quads are activated, squeezing your glutes, brace your core before you squat, squat, parallel and squat up because if that isn't the case here you're on a free weight you can get injured which can happen to your knees that happened to me so i'm telling you these tips right now so yeah make sure on a free weight you're very stable
have anything to say, except my desire to squat is low. <laughs> Perfect. It's so low. All right, babe. So here I'm doing a little less weight, right? It's what I call fine tuning a classic physique. So some people may think, oh, big muscles, big weights. No, wrong. At times for sure. But if you kept up on that nice linear path going upwards of heavy weight, you will get hurt and you will stall. So you're going to hype me up on two plates? Probably go for like eight. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. How was that? That good? Okay. <laughs> Read during your sets too, that definitely helps. The tongue scarred me. I usually do that, like, all right, next exercise. There's like three shoulder push-ups. I mean, it's kind of bizarre, whatever. Um, all right, oh, fuck. All right, so next up, we're gonna leg press. <laughs> do not do that. This is what happens if you do that too many times. Damn. The glass will get a little bit more sensitive and sensitive, and you will shatter your camera lens, as well as the rest of your iPhone. Oh my God, when I was in LA, we first get there, I had to go to Sweet Green every time, right? Go to go to Sweet Green. Oh. Allie has to urinate. And unfortunately, Sweet Green doesn't have a bathroom. <laughs> she goes to the CVS next door. I go to our rental car and I wait. Our car is here, right? And the car parked next to us was a Tesla. An old man with a shopping cart is walking like this near the Tesla. And like, not stable. His cart starts turning towards the Tesla. About to hit it, so now I'm really looking at him like, what? He stops, turns his car back to walking straight towards our car. So he starts walking towards our car, turns to our trunk now, does a full like 270, stops, and just falls back and smacks his head on the con on the like the, the fucking parking lot. I'm like, I run up to him, his eyes are shut. I thought I just witnessed a death. I'm like, hello, sir, sir, are you, are, are you okay? He opens his eyes, she's like, he's not speaking. So I call 911, I tell him to stay there. I was a lifeguard, so I know what to do in this situation. <laughs> He goes on his side, another pedestrian comes in and talks to him. But yeah, dude, he was by himself. He was like eight, like late 70s, 80 years old. Smacks his head really like we heard the crunch. Luckily, no blood. We don't know what happened. Maybe he had a stroke or something right there, but it was some scary shit. Right. I love LA. That dude's so weird. It's, it's fucking crazy. So. On this leg press, I'm working up to a lot of different, a lot of plates. I'm gonna conserve my energy towards the top set. Probably again from like eight to 10 plates. Feel that out. Feel eight, if eight's heavy, I will go for like a full 12. If it's not, we'll add weight and then go for 12. Before I approach this final set, I'm gonna get into a very dark place here. <laughs> I'm gonna think about bad things to really help me be a intense bodybuilder like I say I am and really push this weight past failure and beyond. To really just get, get just get mad that there's no local support. No. <laughs> Code ant. Code ant. Workout completed. We're gonna go home to our apartment gym and we're gonna do cardio there because Iron doesn't have, oh, well, they don't have too many cardio equipments. I will use their cardio equipment during prep because I'm a Stairmaster King. And that is my prep uh, arsenal of choice is the Stairmaster. Not the treadmill, that's way retired, <laughs> but just the Stairmaster. Did that go over your head? What? I said the treadmill's retired. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, cool. Start up Rosa, ah, penny boards. 
go home. All right, so we're now focusing on recovery today. We are at Thrive Sports. Oh, <laughs> All right, I am now here. All right, I am here today at Thrive Spine and Sports Rehab. They are a recovery spot in New Jersey that I go to locally, and they help me with acupuncture, chiropractor-ish type techniques. We're gonna do the cold plunge today, acupuncture, and getting readjusted. We do this pretty much weekly, which I recommend you would too if you have something like this. They help me with my inactive serratus I've been having an issue with for a very long time. It's kind of crazy. If you guys are local to New Jersey, I wonder what beach you guys go to. Belmar is my go-to ever since I was a kid. So let me know. This is Brick Beach. Amanda Squad in high school. Grant. LBI. LBI. Yeah, everyone's different. Hello, Dr. Vin. How are you? How are you? Good. How are you feeling? Feeling well, I feel kind of good today. Yeah, I don't feel terrible. I do not feel terrible. All right, I need to lay back. So what this table is right here is uh, lumbar decompression. What it's gonna help to do is open up the joint and disc spaces in the lower back primarily. And it's really helping to take pressure off of any sort of stiff or tight areas that could be putting any pressure on the nerves. It's really good preventatively. Obviously, as you can see, he is He's a bodybuilder, so he's lifting a lot of heavy weight. Thank you for pointing that out, Vin. With squats, deadlifts, that's putting a lot of pressure on the lower back primarily, and this, this is gonna kinda help decompress and stretch out that area. It should be really beneficial in that case. You did squat today. I did squat today. I squatted a hefty... Uh, so that kinda works out. Yeah, a hefty 225. Sweet. <laughs> 225. Just a big bodybuilder now. Yeah, I lost weight, Vin. What's up? I lost shit ton of weight. What are you riding at? 211. Kind of, kind of upset. It's whatever. Are you doing like high repetitions for the squats? Or? Just less nitrogen in my body. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Hey. 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 Do I look? Do I look good or? Oh, I look like hell. Right, maybe if I put this up, I look better. Nope. <laughs> This definitely just isn't the angle for me. Doctor, I gotta tell you some things. I gotta apologize. I hit legs before this with knee sleeves. So if you go near my knees, they will smell. Oh, okay. No problem. So just I'll stay away from the knees. Do not breathe in through the nose. <laughs> Got it. All right? Yeah, I'll hold that. <laughs> cool. Would you, see, would you be able to feel the less mass on my body right now? No, dude. Oh, that's good. Shoved in me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's time. You can head into room one. Onwards. You're holding on your, your whole lower lat, everything. It was totally too many things I was struggling with. Well. Definitely a different approach I thought it would. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some very cool new opportunities coming up in 2023, which I'm excited for. Um, what do I plan on doing in 2023? As terms of my bodybuilding career, I will be, well, not competing, as I typically did compete every single year since 2019. I'll be taking 2023 off and I will be focusing on growing my physique um also want to be able to get some more content out so that's gonna be something also it's like business related so i want to get more content um i will be staying in new jersey i actually have to renew my lease on my apartment within the next 11 days so i will be staying in new jersey traveling wise i definitely am enjoying traveling especially as i'm not in prep so I do want to do a lot more travel, not necessarily content, but 
just travel in travel general. general, content with it, business with it, whatever it may be. Um, there's, an, I can't talk about the biggest thing, but there's a really fucking cool big thing coming. 2023, hopefully more different merch items, merchandise slash shirts slash apparel because a very well CEO businessman told me not to call it merchandise because it sounds like cheesy and cheap, mm-hmm. but call it like apparel. So we'll call it apparel. So Thank you, Gary. Yeah. No, really? Christian, Christian Guzman. Oh. Yeah, I said that. I was like, yeah, it's, I see that for sure. Um, but I definitely, my biggest thing is I want to figure out what to do because I know what the answer is to help me get more content and I need to figure out how to do that. I'm not the best at recording shit myself. I hate vlogging. When there's a camera on me, I can do fucking great. But me holding a camera and vlogging is not the same I can produce content-wise. So I gotta figure some shit out. Um, what else is coming up? Well, I'll be 2020, I'll be 21 in 2023. Make me drunk. And I'm gonna get fucking obliterated every weekend, legally. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. You guys doing the music? Yeah. Oh, it. You're acting like this is so intense. I'll start. I'll start for you. What do we got? You want to start from the start from here and go up? All right. Do it. Get that body for cover. Let's go. There we go. Dr. Vin, nope. thank you for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Dr. AJ, I appreciate your hospitality. It has been a great time. She did it for a minute and she put her knees in. <laughs> she, was up to, she was up to her, like, not even her waist. Oh, God. It was kind of embarrassing, but oh well. I'm cold. Yeah. I'm cold and it's all about getting over the hurdles. Yeah. Cold and hungry. Yeah. Right. Combo. To few should we go?